Hello everybody, welcome to Peter and Lala's channel. Thank you for joining us today for another video. Honey, how do you find the Filipino culture after your trip to the Philippines? I fell in love with the culture. As a matter of fact, from the U.S., I love all, all the Filipino people I met are very nice uh, and uh, always very caring. And my experience going to the Philippines is also very similar. Um, now, of course, I went with you, your family, your family, everybody wonderful. I would not know how it would be if I went by myself to the Philippines on a trip. I don't know, but again, that that's the same for anybody who travels alone overseas. So, but I met wonderful people. As a matter of fact, from the airport, everybody was helpful. Even when I was out in the street, the police officer asked, for example, to help me with the internet and, and so on to establish the internet. He was, you know, able to guide me. Um, and um, everybody um, was helpful at the airport. The your family, of course, meeting everybody were very welcoming and heartwarming. I was grateful for that. Um, meeting the other people around your 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 town was very, they were very nice as well. Um, some of your relatives mm -hmm. we met also very nice people. I see certain similarities of the. Filipino culture with the Greek culture and that is the the family unity how you guys spend your time together we were exactly the same way when I was mm. in Greece growing up now in the US living in the US uh, I'm glad I was I'm glad I grew up basically in a Greek environment when I was growing up uh, in, in Greece um, because in the US a lot of times families seem to be all over the place and and uh, they're not as united let's say as as uh, the filipinos are all together obviously if you live overseas you don't have your family present and that's what i'm talking about it's mm -hmm. not that they don't care for each other care but the distance is what makes the difference what i was able to see here is i saw you guys all together you live very close to each other, right next to each other. And that's how I grew up to Greece. I had family members right next door and it was just wonderful to have that. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I enjoy that part. And now when it comes to, to the culture as uh, history-wise and, and all that, I like the, um, well, the towns are, it depends, you know, certain areas are not very wealthy. Okay, but uh, what I also notice is that people are actually happy and they are they're they're working very hard and um, obviously there was only two weeks there so that's not enough time to assess everything but uh, I do see that the people gather together families the kids play all over the streets which is very nice in the US you don't see that you don't see kids running around in the streets it's not safe but in your country it seems that it's safe so people might be nicer when it comes to uh or i guess less less uh worried that if their child is outside something will happen to the child mm -hmm. but in the u.s as i know you have to watch your child all the time mm -hmm. uh, so so that was another thing that was uh not surprising to me because i grew up like this in greece we were all over running around the streets playing until 9, 10 at night, mm -hmm. even even past that time, we'll be playing and nothing happened to anybody at mm -hmm. that time. Now things are different, I understand. You can't just leave your children out there like that. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my first impression now of the, of mm -hmm. the culture, of the local culture. Okay? How about the, how about the food? The food, which one well, do you like? Which one do you remember that you like? When it comes uh, to food. The suman is, is something that I was very impressed by because here is very simple. Just take rice and that sauce. This thick sweet sauce. 
Mmm, it's delicious. I have to say this is one of the best desserts I've eaten in a very long time. Yeah. So I was very surprised how they get the chicken. Uh, since you guys are out in a the farm there, um, basically I saw this this fellow, um, your, your, your cousin, he had a, a gun and he actually shot the chicken. Yeah, uh, that's but he missed the air gun. <laughs> and then what's very mm -hmm. interesting, what I learned about this is, I was like, what were you doing? No, don't sit there. It's okay. I don't want to eat chicken. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to eat chicken. Let it go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's interesting is it was an air gun mm -hmm. and uh, yes, the I chicken see. left. And I was told by you, which is very surprising, how the chicken actually, if it realizes you try to kill it, it will run away for a few days and then come back yeah so i wonder where does the chicken go for those few days I it know. hides somewhere <laughs> yeah. wait. do the other chicken come over to see how he's doing or no i don't doing? think oh, so I, oh, I don't think so hun. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, that was really fascinating mm -hmm. and another another thing I, I i really enjoy is that we are out in nature and we see all these animals and how people are connected to, to nature and i was more connected to nature and I also, uh, I was glad to see that there weren't as many mosquitoes. It was good. Uh, only one day there were mosquitoes, not the other nights. Mm -hmm. And that was very good. Mm -hmm. like that. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm very impressed with the culture. I'm very happy to go back in and experience it more and learn more about the culture. And the people are very friendly, very nice. and. Um, and they're very helpful mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I'm very very about the, about that mm -hmm. and i'm very happy about being mm -hmm. part of your family now mm -hmm. uh, i'm grateful mm -hmm. yes and speaking of that being part of the family <laughs> why and how did you prepare for the uh, engage the engagement ring the proposal because i don't have you know i, I have no idea how did I prepare? Yes, how? Well, mm -hmm. I prepared for uh, a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. You know, because the I knew that when I meet you finally, I was going to propose to you anyways. I'm not going to go back without proposing you. That's why I came to meet you and to propose to you. And what I saw from our past uh, interactions that we do like right now, I were all the different with my head and we were able to stick with each other and basically we passed the test of time and distance. It was basically distance is your shield in a in a long distance relation. I think it, what I like about the long distance relationship is that distance is your shield, not only mine but yours as well. Because if we're not for each other, it's easier to get entangled if we're locally, and next thing you know, we're not for each other. But that's not how good. I prefer the distance because you get to see me, I get to see you, and experience each other, how we think, how we are, and time shows the behavior of the person because you can always hide for so long your behavior mm -hmm. from somebody. Mm -hmm. So. Because we spend so much time, that was a good thing. And we spend a lot of time together daily. We, we spend a lot of time, which mm -hmm. we'll talk about it in another video. But uh, I knew that when I met you, if you are the person I see on the camera, I will definitely propose to you. But I waited a few days just to meet your family, to see how your family will accept me and, and so on. And that was very important to me also. Um, and um, that's it. That's so it's, it was a preparation from day one, day one that we met. But mm -hmm. Day one is like a little seed, and then another seed. Every day you put a little bit more, a little piece. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and that's what it was. So mm -hmm. everything was planned and calculated to, mm -hmm. to, to lead to that point. Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. grateful for it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. Uh, please, the, please hit the like button and subscribe if you like it. 
and we're looking forward to to have you in our next videos mm -hmm. and um, uh, stay healthy everybody and uh, be well thank you so much mm -hmm. thank you bye bye, -bye.